Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel brings you latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you a project that I've been working on where you can search the files within your Google Drive and list them out on a Google Sheet. So here I have a sidebar form here so I can search any kind of text within my file name. So if I hit chart here, it's going to pull every file that has the word chart in it and list them down here. And I could keep going with this. I could hit test. It'll relist out all the ones that have the word test in it. And then from there, I have the file name, the URL of that file. So if I click here, it'll take me straight to that file. I got the creation date, last update date, the file type, and the folder that it is in. This is a nice way if you want to look through your files in a Google Sheet type format. I know you can do this in the Google Drive where it lists it in their form over there, but here it gives you a nice way to put it on a sheet. That way you can put filters on it, check through, delete stuff. The only thing that I found that's kind of iffy with this is if you use the word untitled, which is kind of that's how it starts a new file. If I click this, it kind of gave me some random results. I had two untitled, but then I got some of these forms come through here. So I'm not sure if that's a bug within the system or not, but I found that that was the only questionable bug in this thing. Every other text worked just fine and pulled the correct results. So I'll give you a step-by-step -step process of how I put this together. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. Here I'm on my new Google spreadsheet. I have it called Search Google Drive Files up here. And I have my sheet name of files down here. And then I got a header record of file name, URL, creation date, last updated date, file type, and folders. Next I'm going to just bold this up here like that. And then I'm going to shade it a little darker, give it a nice little dark look here like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and freeze this top row. I'm going to bring, drag this down here like that. Now it's going to freeze that top row up like that. And that is it. That is our sheet set up here. Next, we're going to go to Google Apps Script. So we're going to go in our Apps Script. And then the first thing I'm going to give it title of our project here. The same name as our Google Sheet, search Google Drive files, rename. Uh, next, I'm going to copy in my code, GS code right now. I will provide this in a link below the video so you can copy and paste it yourself. So I have that copy and pasted. I'm going to hit save. Next, I'm going to create an HTML file. So I'm going to hit the plus sign here, HTML. I'm going to call this search file right here. Oop. Search file, which is in my code GS right here. So I'm going to make it the same as this. Come over here. I clicked off of it. I'm going to hit rename. I'm going to hit that. Hit enter. Now I have that. Next, I'm going to copy in my HTML code right here. So now I have my HTML code copied. Next, I'm going to go through the code and explain how it all comes together. The first function here is I'm setting up my sidebar form here. So I'm using a service of HTML service, create HTML output, output from file. I'm listing my file name here, my HTML file right there, and I'm setting the title to search files. That's going to be the top bar on my sidebar thing. It's going to say search files on there. And then the next thing, this uh, renders my form statement on the side here. So you're using your spreadsheet app, get UI, and then show the bar on the side. So that is set up. Next function is I'm going to be setting up a menu on my uh, top of my spreadsheet so I could click it. So I'm doing this by using spreadsheet, get UI, create menu. I'm calling that file search. And then Underneath the tab up top of that menu, I'm adding a one selection of search files. And then that's going to call this function search file form, which I have up here, which is going to render my sidebar. And then the last statement is that renders it, puts it all together, and puts the, the tab up top with the search item underneath that renders it. That call. 
Next, I, this next function is just gonna call this menu thing. So whenever I open up my Google Sheet, this form will nicely pop in for me. So that is an on open statement. That's a standard function in Google Sheets. So whenever I open my file, this will kick off and I got add menu. So this calls this, which calls this. Kind of works, all three of these kind of work together. The next part is the actual search part. So I got my search files here. Um, well, I'm gonna take you over to my HTML because this is, will be, once my sidebar form is called up, it'll hit this code right here. So I'll just start from the top. I got a link to a bootstrap library right here and I'm using the cloudflare.com um, cloud hosting. So I'm, I'm using that bootstrap 461. They may have a newer version right now, but this is the one I'm using. And I got these two functions I'll call. I'll explain this later, but this is the JavaScript code in here. And in my HTML down here is I have a form of title down here. So that's the text box where I put in what I want to search for. And then I just have a button of submit down here. And then uh, the rest of this, this form row, form group, that's all bootstrap kind of code to make it look the bootstrap kind of way on the screen. So then, and I also have this is I display my return. It just shows if I found rows or didn't find rows. So what I do is I put in my title, I hit my submit, it calls this submit record, which is some JavaScript code up here. And then from there, I am clearing out my display return. So I'm clearing out this from my last search. I'm grabbing the title value, which is would be the name. And then now I'm calling this Google script run with success handler. And uh, this is, this is a function, a standard function in Google Apps Script where you can call Google Apps Script functions. I'm calling search files and I'm passing in the title. So then we'll go to our Google Apps Script functions over here, which is search files, title. Uh, I'm getting the spreadsheet object. I'm pulling the sheet name, which is files. That comes from this name right here, files right there. And then I'm getting the last row plus one. So what I'm basically doing is I'm gonna clear out any existing records that are there from a previous search. So I'm getting the last row and then I'm doing a clear out. So I'm doing from A2 to F last row. So here's A to F, I'm pulling, clearing anything that's out in here. So this get last row will get the last row of what is populated in your spreadsheet, just to be more clarify what that does. And that gives me a value, but I'm adding one to it just to get me an extra row. And then, uh, and then I initiate a parameter of false for found records, because I'm gonna go through, we're gonna do the search, and I'm gonna see if I find records or don't find records. So then I'm going to do this drive app search files. This is a standard function that Google Apps Script provides. So I'm in my drive app search files. And then I got my title. This is just a, the plain text that you have to put in here to do the search. So I'm, I'm searching title contains and then I'm passing in my title from up here. That's which is coming through my form. And then from there, I'm going to go through them all. It's in a while loop now. So then I'm checking the files. This is the object of all the files that come back. Now I'm going to go through one by one. So I'm doing while files has next. So it's making sure it has next record, grabbing the next record of those files right here. I'm getting the file name of that file. So this file is an object and within that object you can call these functions that pull the data out according to what you want. So at this point I'm getting the name, the last updated date, the date created, the URL, the mem type which is the file type. You got the file parents, you're initiating first folder name, basically it finds, file parents has next, and then it's going, it's getting the first one, 
get name and assigning to this. If you only want it to find the first one, I guess you can add a break statement in the next one and it'll break out, just find the first one. I got this set up to find my last, but really my files are only associated to one folder, so I don't really have to worry that too much. So once it finds the file name here, I check to see if it has a file name. The reason I do that is because if I don't want to see any files that were shared with me. So if you do want to see those, you have to take this if statement out. You want to see all the files that are shared with you, you can take this if statement out. I put this in because I want to make sure it's in my drive. I own it. This is what I'm managing. So I want to make sure this actually has a value. If you don't want, if you want to see all the files that are shared with you and everything, you have to take this if statement out. Then it'll show everything. But I got this in there. Then I'm appending this record to the next row I have in my sheet. So that I'll just add the first next empty row here. Yeah, that's what the append does with my file sheet. Pending the values, I found something, so I'm recording true. And then the last part here is if found records is true, I'm actually going to return back to my HTML found records. Now if it isn't, which would be the else statement here, I'm saying no found records. So then I'm going to return back, I'm going to hit save here. I'm going to hit over to search. So this return back is right here, my value. So then I it calls this function right here, bringing back the string back, which is those span things I wrote out. And then I'm assigning it to display return, which is below my form here the string back. So either I found records or didn't find records. So that kind of explains all the code. So next what I'll do is I'm going to do the menu. I'm going to just going to call this menu. That's going to start my security checking here to make sure everything is going to go through my uh, permissions basically to run this script. So I'm going to hit run. And now it's going to go authorized required view permissions. I'm going to choose my name, I hit advanced, go to search drive files, and, and then I'm allowed to edit, create, delete Google spreadsheets right here. So I'm going to hit allow. Okay, so then that statement should have put this up here. So then if I click that, hit search files. That brings me to my bar over here. And then if I put something to search in, hit submit. It should list out the files that I have in my Google Drive that I have test. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.